All right, everyone, welcome back yet again to Alice Madness Returns. Last time we left off, we had found the Mock Turtle and had uh, submerged the ship, I forget what it's called, underwater. And uh, now we have a mini game. We have to avoid shipwreck sharks and cannon fire in mines. And unfortunately, even though I'm using a controller, it is telling me the. Uh, controls for if you're using a mouse. But it looks like it is X and B. Yeah, this is basically a, a shmup. Like a side-scrolling shmup. Goodness, I have been hit three times because I'm not paying attention. Also, that crab is shooting cannonballs at me. I find that interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Crab, why are you shooting cannonballs? You're a crab. That crab was completely submerged. Oh jeez, screen shaking so bad. Oh goodness. Oh that Oh, I got him. Interesting. I didn't think it would. Oh, geez. Also, I don't remember what the points do, if anything. Ow! My body aches all over. We submerged too quickly. My ship's in wreck, and I am too. Admirals go down with their ships. In any case, I never knew you for a sailor. If memory serves, you were station master of the Looking Glass Line. Mm. Sacked from the railroad without the option. Redundant, the nitwit said. Never a holiday. Loyal as a bulldog, going in a different direction, my Aunt Fanny, if I had one. Going off the rails more like bloody disaster. Now I'm shipless. The old railroad's dead. And this new thing's a monstrosity. It never runs on time. Engineers are asleep at the switch. What I don't know about it can't hurt me. Say no more. Not as good as a wink. Change the subject. We avoid speaking about the thing whose name should not be spoken. Hearing something useful about this new train would make for a change. You don't respect the suffering of others. Go ask your questions and smart remarks to Caterpillar. I'm sorry, Admiral. Really. Please. Tell me what you know about the train. I'll just say we've escaped a contaminating corruption. Count yourself lucky to be down here. But I don't want to escape. I want to stop it. I must stop it to save myself. And Wonderland too. Nonsense. Speak more nonsense. Diversions rule the day. The show must go on and so on. Speaking of shows... We weren't. Yeah, well, never mind. Here's a ticket for the show Carpenter's Mounting. Use it. 
Yep, after that fun little uh, excursion, excursion in the ship, which is now over here, and it looks fairly horrific. Um, Alice now has a new dress with the light from an angler fish on the back of it, and like a weird crab thingy. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But yes, when I said that um, Alice normally can't swim underwater, uh, this is what I was talking about. Now that we have this special outfit, Alice can breathe underwater when normally water would kill her instantly. And really, if you look at how the game is, or how the level is designed, we're not actually underwater. Also, that's our destination. Like, it looks like we're underwater. But it's just like a visual... I don't know what I'm saying. Never mind. Poor Mock Turtle. He lost his ship. He lost his job at the railroad. Because people be crazy. Also, we're all glowy now. Which I thought was pretty cool. Bioluminescence. Whoop, whoop. Come on, Alice. Scoundrel is fitted with grotesque headgear. If I have ever owned an accessory that unseemly, I'd burn it. Destroy all evidence of it and deny its existence. I value my reputation. And your money. Don't forget your money. Anyways, let's go ahead and head back the way we were going originally. Because I thought that this way was the way to that memory that I just found. And it wasn't. Also, don't touch the red ones. They are not only spiky, they are electrified. So they will zap you, and it will hurt. Also, steam vents underwater. Totally makes sense. Actually, yes it does, because there are underwater volcanoes after all. Damn you fish! Also, snout. Snout is right there, okay. So I have to go like this. Aha! Yes, because that's not a trap. These clams are basically like Iron Maidens. Um, you step inside of them and they puncture you with spikes. So we can't actually... Oops. You can't break the baskets with uh, the pepper gar grinder, and you can't kill the clams, either. Uh, so let's see... If I remember right, I think we have to go this way. Go, go, go! Oh, almost didn't make it that time. There is a shiny up there. I think it's just a, uh, a glowing anemone.
Ha! Whoa, and timer. Okay, I am not used to 10 minute episodes yet. Anyways, that's going to be it for, uh, well actually, let me get back over here. Almost didn't land that time either. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you the next time.